Guess what this is? First food that I'm reintroducing in my elimination diet are whole, organic, cage-free eggs. Mmm, yummy. I make them over medium because I like consistency better. Whether I am eating them with rice, eating them first thing in the morning with a green vegetable, or now I'm gonna be eating some this afternoon with sweet potatoes. Want to talk about where I'm at with the elimination diet, what I'm finding so far. So like I said, today I'm incorporating the egg. This is the first food sensitivity common allergen that I'm reincorporating. As I mentioned in previous videos, I pretty much took out any type of food that I thought was going to cause an issue for me. So my level on the food sensitivity scale, I wanted to remove anything that was causing a potential issue. So now what you do is essentially after 23 days, and it's normally three weeks to 23 days because that's when your amino acid profile clears up and any of those food allergens that may have been causing an issue for you should be out of your system. You reincorporate starting with one at a time, one food that you think is causing a potential issue for you. I'm starting with eggs because I love the whole essential amino acids. It has all seven essential amino acids in it. It's high in omega fats, specifically if you're getting a free range um, cage free egg. There is a difference. People are gonna say, no, there's not. All eggs are the same, brown from white. The only difference with brown versus white egg is the color of the feathers on the chicken, FYI. But the way that a chicken is raised is important for its nutrient profile, and we are seeing more studies of this coming out. Nonetheless, I'm reincorporating the eggs today, and I basically do a higher intake of them. So I'm doing, it'll be six eggs, I might have a couple more before bed. We'll see. I'm not gonna do any more than eight. And then I see what my symptoms are today as well as tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna eat my normal diet, which was pretty basic. Um, a lot of vegetables, organic chicken, doing pea protein instead of whey protein, and what was my other? Salmon as my main protein source. Doing flax seed oil, olive oil, very little coconut oil, doing sunflower seeds and sesame seeds for my fats. And so, so far so good. I have makeup on right now, but my skin, it feels amazing. My energy is about the same. I was a little bit lower energy at the start of the elimination diet until I started adding in more carbs, but I've actually dropped weight. And I think body fat percentage wise, I've stayed pretty consistent. I'm 135 pounds, but as you can see, like, we ain't losing muscles. So, goes to show, you just gotta keep trying something, staying consistent with it. I'm actually doing an elimination diet with one of my clients right now. She's having some issues hormonally too, and I'm hoping that we can figure out what is the main stem of her issues as well. So I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know what questions you have specifically to the elimination diet. I'm excited to tell you a little bit more as I continue down this road. Yeah, because life is about figuring out what works for you and her body because she needs taken care of. So have a great day. Stay tuned for more updates on my elimination diet.